Hey everybody, by popular demand we're going to show you how to set up GPS on your Windows mobile device. Uh, we're going to do this demo on a Palm Trio 750V, Pocket PC Edition. So the first thing we did is we went into settings and then we tap on the connections tab and then the Bluetooth tab. Next we tap on the devices tab and select new partnership and we're going to wait just a second for my Bluetooth devices to show up. I'm using the uh, Palm GPS Bluetooth unit that uh, came with the TomTom -tom kit, but pretty much any Bluetooth GPS unit is going to work. Um, so here you go, you're going to select the uh, GPS unit you want and tap Next. If it asks for a pass key, you're going to need to enter that. Most of the time it's usually just four zeros, so we'll enter that. Uh, as I was saying, any GPS unit should work just fine as long as it puts out NMEA data, which most of them do. So if you've got one lying around, there you go. All right, the next thing that pops up is uh, some settings, and uh, we'll tap on serial port. Make sure that's checked because that's how Windows Mobile is going to talk to your GPS unit over Bluetooth. Next, of course, we are going to tap Finish, and then we'll tap the OK. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Then we'll tap on COM ports tab because we need to set up a new COM port to uh, talk to the GPS unit. It's a hassle. we got to think about it, but oh well. Uh, we're going to choose a new outgoing port because uh, that's the way it works. We'll select the Palm GPS and then we'll tap on the next button. Next you want to choose a COM port. It shouldn't really matter which one you choose. We're going to go with COM8 for the heck of it here. Make sure you've got secure connection checked. Eh, it doesn't really matter. I just leave it there because it makes me feel better. And then we will tap on the finish button. And then we are done with the Bluetooth settings so we can tap OK here. All right, and now we're going to head over to the system tab there, and there's the little GPS icon. If your Windows mobile device doesn't have the GPS icon in your system settings, you can add it there with a registry edit. I'll uh, put a link up how to do that. All right, first thing we're going to do is choose a program port. Uh, we're going to just choose a random one, COM5. Just make sure it's not the same as a hardware port. Next, under hardware, you need to choose the hardware port that you had previously set. In our case, it was COM8. Uh, baud rate shouldn't really matter. I just leave it there at 4800. I think uh, most support up to 96. Anyway, and then lastly in the access tab, you want to make sure that you've got Manage GPS automatically checked so that Windows Mobile manages it automatically. And there you go. It's all set up now. So what's going to happen from now on is Windows Mobile will talk to GPS via COM port 5, which will automatically talk to COM port 8, and it'll talk to the GPS unit. So how does this all work? Well, let's take a look at Google Maps and see how that works. We'll go into Google Maps here, and we will uh, give it a second just to load up. I've actually got this uh, moving a little bit slower than I actually did it, FYI. Okay, so here we are in Google Maps. We'll tap on the menu button uh, after we slide the map around a bit for fun. And uh, we've got track location GPS. And since we set up a managed GPS automatically, Windows Mobile has told Google Maps where to uh, locate the GPS. And there it is, bada bing. And uh, you can use that to do all sorts of stuff. Like, for example, you can go into you know directions. And there's an option in the directions here. We'll show you in a second. To use the current location from where you're going. And then you can go to an address. Okay, uh, Live Search from uh, Windows also is aware of uh, the GPS, although strangely it's not as automatic as it is on Google Maps. Uh, what you need to do inside Live Search is go into uh, Menu and then Settings here, and then you need to choose a COM port. Uh, I chose the uh, COM5, the program port that we set up in the, uh, the last step of the setup there. You could also choose a hardware port, it doesn't really matter. Um, but then it works uh, very similarly. Um, I don't have a... Uh, satellite signal here and uh, where I'm working but if I did it would work but you can see you can just click the menu button click center on GPS and then again you can use it in Windows Live to uh, find directions from where you currently are